Hey everyone, I'm Nick and welcome to the channel. Now, as you may already know, I like to have Android Auto and Apple CarPlay in my cars, but what if you could do more? What if you could turn your car screen into essentially a laptop or a desktop computer? This is the Mayton Auto Pro X, and what it does is it adds wireless Android Auto to a wired Android Auto car, but it also adds Samsung DeX if you have a Samsung phone. So that means that you have access to all of your apps in like a desktop format, so almost like having a laptop built into your car. So today we're gonna check it out. So the first thing we're gonna do is open it up and see what's included. Now, as we open this up, I wanna mention that you do have to have a Samsung phone that is compatible with Samsung DeX for that to work. Otherwise, it'll just be a wireless Android Auto adapter, which is fine, but having Samsung DeX in your car is a really cool idea. So we have a nice packaging already. Reminds me of some other tech, high-end tech. We've got some Velcro cable holders, a couple manuals, and then right here, we have the device itself. Nice and clean look with the white face and back and a metal silver edge. It's like a soft touch material and the little Auto Pro X logo. You can actually press on the X. It's a button and we'll look at what that does later. And then down here, we've got oh, two cables. We've got USB-C to USB-C and USB-A to USB-C. Now, in the shipment, I also got another wire and this is a different adapter for specific vehicles. I have a bunch of options. These feel very nice. They've got like a braided fabric sleeve. So that feels very good, both of them. And uh, yeah, overall it feels very premium. The metal edge here is nice and the soft touch is also very nice. So let's go try it out in the car. All right, so we're in a 2011 Mercedes E-Class that has an upgraded head unit and a system that allows for wired and wireless Android Auto. So we're gonna be using wired Android Auto. Now, we're gonna take the Auto Pro X we're gonna plug in the cable, the USB-C side in here. In this car, the USB port for the head unit is USB-A, so I'm gonna plug that in. And I'm gonna leave it visible right here. There we go, it's connected. You can see right here, there's the Wi-Fi name for it. You can toggle between Korean and English, and you can go back home. So, let's see. Well, let's start with Android Auto. So we're in Android Auto mode. Now, Android Auto is probably gonna be your best option when you're just driving around because it has a interface designed specifically for driving. Now to connect to this, you go into your Bluetooth settings on your phone. It's gonna be labeled as Auto Pro X 27 dB in the Bluetooth settings. So we're gonna pair it. We're gonna allow Android Auto. And we have our standard Android Auto interface with all the apps that are compatible that are already installed on my phone and everything like that. And then if we wanna back out to the Auto Pro X interface, you just hit exit and we are here. So if you have wired Android Auto, but not wireless Android Auto, this is already an upgrade because you can just leave your phone in your pocket. Once it's set up, it'll automatically connect to wireless Android Auto and you're good to go without plugging your phone in. So it's very nice. But the real party piece is Samsung DeX. So that's gonna be in the Auto Pro X mode right here. So there are settings up here. You can choose full screen mode, basic mode, and touch calibration. Now for Auto Pro X, we need to have the Auto Pro X app on our Samsung phone. So it's in the Play Store, you can install it, and then we're gonna open it up. We have to give it some permissions, like allow it to appear on top, Auto Pro X right here. Now right here we can see in the app, Auto Pro X 27 dB, which is the name right up here. So we'll hit connect. And right here, we wanna make sure we update so that there's a new version. Hit update now, device update. So it's being transferred on and it'll update it. Okay, looks like it's rebooted up here so we can go to home. Okay, so now we have to reconnect here we are up to date app control so now we can go into samsung dex now if you want it to auto connect you can turn on auto connect you can also toggle it to wireless android auto mode or developer mode but we'll leave it as it is now let's go to settings 
we're going to go to connected devices here and we'll go to Samsung Dex and we'll hit start Dex. We're going to allow it and we'll connect wirelessly to Auto Pro X 27DB. Start Samsung Dex on Auto Pro X. You got your information here. We'll hit start and there it is. It's loading up. All right, let's see. So what we can do now is go to use your phone as a touchpad. And now we have mouse control up here. So let's see. We can go to this. Let's let me exit Dex because the way it's displaying right now is a little stretched. So I'm going to go into the settings here. I'm going to go to 16 by 9. Pop back out. And we'll get in here and start Dex again. And then we're back in. Now we have a nice ratio here. We can use the phone as a touchpad again. So if your screen is stretched, you can change the aspect ratio. All right, so let's see in here. We have, let's load up YouTube. Set it to full screen. I'm only getting audio from- There we go. Center speaker. So now we can actually watch stuff. So we have a, a really neat interface. If we go to the app menu down in the bottom, we can go to things like Netflix. There we go. Put on a movie. Soon. Let it play. So of course, if you're gonna play um, videos, be sure to follow the laws in your area. You know, be safe. Driving while having a video playing is not something I can recommend. But if you're waiting for someone somewhere, say you're at the airport and you're picking up someone but their flight's delayed, putting on a video is really nice. You can get into your browser, look something up. You know, yeah, you can two finger scroll too, which is very cool. And we'll look at Mercedes Benz and you can scroll through. So you can do productivity stuff. If you have multiple apps open, you can hit. The button here and it will bring up a shortcut here so you can do split screen so say you want to watch a video look something up at the same time you can it's this is very neat so you can scroll it's essentially like a like a little laptop computer or a desktop you can even play games so if you play games on your phone and you have a bluetooth controller connected to your phone you can use that too so you bring up a game on the screen connect your controller and you can just start playing once you open up your app and yeah it's very neat very neat it really gives you a lot of flexibility you can even open spotify if you wanted to use this interface for music so you've got your full interface right here you can still use touch controls if you want scroll in so you can use it with your fingers, you can use it with the trackpad on your phone. It's really, really flexible, it's very neat. And you, know, you have your shortcuts like, like show what apps are open, go to the home screen, a back button, and all that. So really uh, very cool. You can even move the icons around. So if you wanted to rearrange this because you use it regularly, you can do that. Now, while I try out this game, I want to mention a couple of other things. If you end up without audio in Samsung DeX, you can install an older version of the software through the Auto Pro X app. For some vehicles, like GM or Honda, there's also a special mode that you can toggle in the app for compatibility. If you have a Toyota or a Lexus, the additional cable that came with the unit needs to be used. One last thing to note is that BMW and Tesla vehicles are not supported. So that's the main Auto Pro X. It's really neat to be able to access your phone's apps like that through Samsung DeX, and it gives you a lot of options for productivity or entertainment. I want to say a big thank you to Maiden for sending me this to review, and if you want to get one for yourself, I'll leave links in the video description. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like, and if you have any questions, let me know down in the comments. If you want to see more videos like this, or you want to watch me work on cheap European cars, be sure to subscribe. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.